here at the beautiful Tropical Mansion Suites in Sweeney's Montserrat. Today we are doing a special edition of EVTV with none other than Justin Hero Castle. He is a 10-time Montserrat Calypso monarch and also OECS Calypso King. Justin is going to be awarded the Order of Excellence at this year's National Honors and Awards. Justin, hi and welcome hi, hi. to Emerald Vibes. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> so soon enough, OE is going to be added at the end of your name, and we have to address you as the Right Honorable Justin or the Right Honorable Hero. How Absol does it Absol feel? Oh, fantastic, absolutely. <laughs> and I urge people to start to get accustomed to referring to me in that way. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling to be awarded this year, to be recognized? Well, I feel absolutely fantastic. The reason, one of the reasons are that... Um, I was very much involved, as Joanna said in a previous interview, with the whole creation of the National Awards. Joanna, Eje, and myself, and of course, headed by the then Chief Minister, Ruben T. Mead. What we wanted to do then is to instill national pride in our residents. So we decided that we go have a national motto, complete the national song search, and also have national awards. So let's talk about singing. Like, you know that was going to be my <laughs> next question, Hero. I figured it out. <laughs> Ten times winning the Calypso Monarch here in Montserrat, also winning the OECS crown. And I heard about something about a campus, Calypso. Yeah, the University King on the Campus in 1973, St. Augustine. What do you think, um, what's your secret to winning all these crowns? Hard work. Mm -hmm. And that's my problem with the two the Calypsonians. They don't work hard enough. They want to start in October, November. I believe um, some people are created great. Some have great mistrust upon them. I believe I'm in both categories. And despite all of that, I work very hard. When I was in competition, I started working from February, and I go through the process of critiques, reading with my various supporters. Mm -hmm. Calypsoners nowadays want to come in October, over-practice, so when they go on the stage, they're croaking. And they're, not, it's actually, they're actually doing recitations to some rhythm. Mm -hmm. They have to work hard. And, you know, just, you know, just to mention this, and you have to create... Uh, the kind of music that, that don't only appeal to Montserrat. You have to think about the region and internationally. about you starting to prepare in February for Montserrat Carnival, which is in December. Absolutely. And you, I know that you used to um, work as well, sing in Trinidad Carnival as well, which is in February. You traveled on your own and with your brother, the late Arrow. Yeah. How yeah. was it working with him? Fantastic. You know, the kind of crowds and the excitement. And he was very meticulous and the hard work and the preparation. You see, a lot of people figure just jump up and sing. You have to do physical um, preparation, mm -hmm. vocal preparation, and, you know, get down to the right weight. And what one of the specials at the National Awards this year uh -huh. is my performance in Dominica, which I think was my best performance ever. To see, you know, that for those persons who didn't have the chance to see the video in the past. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pass it over to Joanna so you see the winning shot. Yeah, yeah. and that was the OECS competition. Yeah, and it was so exciting for me coming back to Montreal. Um, the girl, Kelsey, also won the OECS queen. Mm -hmm. So we, we, it was a double header for Montserrat. And our victory um, regionally was the first victory for Montserrat since 1953, when wow. Montserrat won the Leeward Islands tournament. And I think I could boast that both me and the Queen addressed the biggest crowd ever in Montserrat. The, the streets were lined from the airport, if you don't see, you know, the old Montserrat, mm -hmm. from the airport to Plymouth, 
and in Plymouth, there were about 5,000 persons wow. to greet us. That was fantastic. That was the most exciting. That's the population. I, I'm, I am absolutely sure that when the Queen came here, I got more persons coming out to see me and, and Miss Wall than, than, you know, than the Queen. Yeah, I believe you, Justin. I yeah. absolutely believe you. It was fantastic. <laughs> Everybody knows you for your on-stage personality, hero, tiny whiny. But what else does Justin enjoy doing? Teaching, agriculture. And, you know, and being an extension officer, working with our farmers, you know, that's my real love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was selected by the University of the West Indies, you know, as one of four graduates to go to NASA Bahamas to pioneer the agriculture science program in the schools there. Mm -hmm. And then I came back to Montserrat and did the same here at the Montreal Secondary School. Yeah. And just yeah, had a little stint about last a year ago mm -hmm. and got fantastic results. I'm always up there with good results. Ten students, nine, nine passes, that's fantastic. That's fantastic, yeah. yeah. With the direction that agriculture is headed in today, do you think it's possible for Montserrat to sustain itself? Not only the present circumstances, mm -hmm. because what is in doing agriculture production in Montserrat are the feral animals. They have an organization between them, the fowls, the governors, and they are goody, and then they need subsidies and, you know, and to really aid with production because there's a lot of money. If you look at our import bills for food, Jesus have mercy, there's a lot of money in farming. Yeah. I know persons like James Pond who never did anything other than farming. He had a house in Plymouth that he built out his pocket and one in um, Braid, Baker Hill that he built as from farming. Mm -hmm. So it's a real good career. And nowadays, where young people can farm in jacket and tie. In the greenhouses, yeah, you could farm, you could, some of the top farmers in Jamaica are lawyers. In the jacket and tie, does have the mechanism set up and that's it. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I see young people going. This is why when I was at the secondary school, I was so keen on having the kids involved in greenhouse production. Right. Farming don't have to be dirty today. And, and you could be in farming and go to work. Mm -hmm. or everything is, you know, me uh, mechanized. Yeah. <laughs> A bit of fun trivia here, Justin. Can you tell me what was your absolute most favorite best gig ever? You mean in terms of party? In terms of performance. Oh, Dominica for sure. Dominica? Yeah, the OECS competition. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I was like floating. I don't know what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the worst one? Oh, that's here with that song, Body to Body, the skin fit thing. And my mother said to me, that, my, that, that was vulgar. Well, <laughs> You so had I was, skin fit I was at Bonish at home, you know, I, I didn't get any dinner that night oh after the competition because it was Christmas night. Mm -hmm. I usually have the jumpy table with all this stuff. So she said, no food for you. Go to bed. I was whining too much with Carol and then the skin fit thing. I was looking like I was naked. So you could imagine how my mother was reacting. <laughs> what year was that? Uh, I can't recall, but she actually told me I lost the crown that night. I felt that hustler won me too, mm -hmm. but it's up to the judges. I want to go and look for that video here yeah, yeah. because I need to see you. You might get too excited. What? You might get, I, don't, I urge you not to. You <laughs> might get too excited watching it. Because <laughs> you're talking about a hero shaped like a Coca Cola, not Coca Cola, but the mm -hmm. V, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very slim and also you know, not, muscular. So, not this body. No, this body still is getting there again. I'm right. training for mm -hmm. the toes after I'm in training. Yeah. But I'm saying, you know, you say, wow. <laughs> look at the hero. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining me on Emerald Vibes TV today, Justin. Well, it was a great pleasure to be invited to be on the TV yeah. with you. And the interview was fantastic. You asked me some pertinent questions. I hope my responses were adequate. They were more than adequate. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us for this special edition of EVTV. Until next time, keep the vibes.